Okay, so I'm gonna make a video here on a recipe review. I found a recipe online. Um, it was a Martha Stewart recipe for a cold corn soup. Sounds really good, so I'm gonna try it um, and see if see if it's any good. Okay, so here's the recipe I'm gonna be uh, be trying out in this video. It's a chilled corn soup from Martha Stewart. <clears throat> it looks good. It looks like something I would like. I love corn. Scroll down, we got eight ears of corn, two cups of milk, some olive oil, butter, shallots, cloves, salt, pepper. Um, the other ingredients are for, are optional. They're for uh, right at the end. And we got the directions here. And this is what we're gonna give a shot. Let me just show you where I'm at so far. We've got all these goodies here ready to go. We got corn, we got garlic and shallots and cobs, some milk. And before we get started, I'm gonna let you see what I've done so far. Okay, now it's time to get started with our soup. Um, so I have a big pot here. It already has six cups of water in it. <clears throat> I'm gonna add two cups of whole milk. And then I'm gonna add all these cobs um, that I took the corn off of. Okay, the worst part about this meal is getting the corn ready. But, I do have a tip, um, it would have worked if I was at home. Uh, what you do is you go over to your father-in-law's garden, you tell him all his corn's about to go bad, so he has to put it all up and he doesn't have room for it all. So guess what? You get some. And it's already got the, the pillings off and everything in a Ziploc bag ready to throw in the freezer. Okay, I've got this in here and I'm going to turn it on high and bring it up to a boil. Once it gets to boil, I'm gonna reduce it 
let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, while well we got our uh, corn stock essentially here, while well we got it still simmering down for about 15 minutes, um, I'm going to start another pan. I've got two tablespoons of olive oil <coughs> and two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to melt it. Um, it's already on. And then I got some shallots and some garlic that I'm going to add to it and let that cook down. Um, then we're going to add some corn. Okay, here's our oil and butter. Um, I can't see. I'm going to put some shallots in here. And we're going to add the garlic. It's a couple shallots and a couple cloves of garlic. Now we're going to cook this down for for probably just two to three minutes. Um, we want the shallots to kind of translucent and the garlic to cook down. Okay, now that we got that simmering good, um, it's been there a couple minutes, looks pretty good. We're going to add this corn from the eight ears of corn we shucked. We're going to cook it for, it probably it's fresh corn, it doesn't take long, probably four or five minutes. Um, and after we're cooked this, it's going to all come together pretty fast at that point. Okay, and this has been simmering for 15 minutes now. Um, so I'm going to take these cobs out, dispose of those. <coughs> we don't, we don't need these anymore. But be careful, it's a big splash. Luckily I got a pot that's way too big and it kept it from uh, possibly burning me there. I gotta tell you, I got these cobs out and there's lots of steam coming off those. I'm gonna let them cool down before I throw them out. But just smelling of this, the water and milk that's been cooking with the corn. It smells like corn. It smells great. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying this dude. Okay, it looks like the corn is pretty much done here. It's been four or five minutes. Um, it's ready to go to the soup. Uh, first, we're just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're going to put it into the other pot. So here we added some, a uh, little bit of salt and pepper. I like my pepper, so I use a little, little extra pepper. Um, Give it a quick stir, and we're going to put all this corn, shallot, garlic, nice and easy into all this liquid that we've been cooking. And then we're going to bring it back up to a boil. Once it gets to boil, we're going to reduce it back down to a simmer. And then we're going to let it sit for about 15, 15 minutes again, let it simmer for about 15. So I'm watching this uh, this soup simmer, and I gotta tell you, this smells amazing. I just hope this tastes even close to as good as it smells. That is my hope. Um, it's still simmering though. Just gotta wait it out. Okay, so it's been 15 or 20 minutes. Um, I think it's cooked down enough. So now what I'm gonna do is get it off the stove and get it into another container first. Get all that corn out of there. I left a lot of corn behind. We gotta Scrape it all out. Don't want to leave any of that out. Okay, now we got our our blender here. Um, we're gonna put this in, and I don't know how many batches it's gonna take. More than one. Um, but we're gonna put it in and blend it. It's a little too hot to pick up right now in this container. So I'm going to wait just a bit, but I'm going to get it in the blender and blend it. And here I've got the first batch in. Um, 
Basically, I'm just going to blend it up, try to get it as smooth as possible. Put this thing on liquify. Watch it go. Okay, so my soup is done for the most part. Um, I went ahead and put it in the blender, and when it was done, I strained it. So what we have left here is the liquid. Um, it's still pretty hot. <clears throat> this is meant to be a chilled soup. Um, so what I'm going to do is let it sit in the fridge and get cold, and then we'll taste it. We got a couple little things to, some scallions and some herbs and stuff to put on it before we, before we eat it. Um, so I'll get it cold and come back and give it a taste. Okay, so the soup is done. Um, it's chilled. As you can see here, it's very, very runny. Um, I mean, it's, it's still the texture of light milk. I don't know why I thought that was going to be different after all the straining and such. Um, let me get a video of what the soup actually looks like. That's the soup. And still, it smells great. It smells very, very much like corn. And I'm a big fan of corn. Um, so I'm going to try it. I don't know. It's got a good corn flavor, but it tastes kind of like corn, corn flavored milk. I don't know. It's uh, I don't think I could eat very much of this, to be honest. So, I'm not liking this. But what I think I'm gonna try to do, maybe it's just cause it's cold. Maybe I'm not a fan of cold soups. So let me warm some up and I'll try it warm and see if that makes it. Okay, now I've got some heated up. Texture's still the same, of course. <clears throat> Let's give this a try and see if this is uh, any better. I think this is better. I think I like it better warm, um, but Oh no, now it just tastes like corn flavored warm milk. But I do like it better, I can eat more of this. Um, I don't think any, either version is uh, amazing. Cold, I, I just don't want it cold. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not buying it on this one. I probably won't make this again. Um, Maybe it would be a little better if corn was in season and it was fresh from the garden. I don't know. But this, no, this, this isn't, uh, this isn't for me. So I'm going to get some bacon and take that taste out of my mouth. 